Hey, this is Stacy Wyatt for Perfect Chaos. This is a sponsored post by Intellifluence on how you can become a brand ambassador. I've been active on Intellifluence. Intellifluence. I struggled with the name at first. I've been active for the past few months. I have done sponsored posts. I also have done product reviews. I love the website. You you apply for opportunities in the marketplace. They if the, um they got the terms down. You can they show you what they need. You make a pitch. If they accept you, they send you a pitch for they send you an agreement back for you to sign with the due date to re to, with a due date to finish your assignment they have free and paid campaigns it, payment depends on the campaign uh, one of the last ones I did was a Nancy Drew um, a Nancy Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem video game I did a review of the game I did a sponsor post and then I did a review of the game on a, another campaign so this article that they wrote is how to become a brand ambassador one of the first steps according to the article on how to become a brand ambassador is to identify a target niche for your brand what are you an expert in what sets you apart for the rest how do you create tutorials to separate you from your brand um, side note, I have a degree in new media journalism from Full Sail University. We had a lot of assignments where we had to identify our brand, identify a niche, to come up with a topic for your thesis slash capstone project. It's what sets you apart from everybody else because there are so many people out here who are doing the same thing. It's, it's a lot of beauty influencers. There's a, I, I can sit for hours watching YouTube food videos. I love homesteading videos where people go out and take food from their own farm, home farm, and turn it into a beautiful meal. So there are a lot of people who are in the same niche, but what sets you apart? Then you have to create content for your niche. Um, Unique helpful for me i recommend um facebook fan page instagram face twitter and youtube to help build the brand you, you may not can reach everybody but at least you reaching the people in different mediums everybody is not on facebook everybody is not on twitter some people are youtube holics so there are different ways to market you. The next tip was just focus on what I just said is to stay active on your social media. That is definitely something I struggle with. I run two blogs. I definitely need to post more content on the blogs. I, I have a lot of content on social media. That was at a time where I realized I hadn't wrote anything on one of my blogs for over a year. I wasn't motivated and I, I started back writing on it this year it's like you have to keep writing you have to keep posting and if you're not writing on a blog share relevant content on social media share other people's stuff that will help motivate you I don't have you know, to keep the keep the channel moving like po uh, get people to engage um engaging conversations you know because it's an up and down cycle you, you know you don't post you don't it's completely down um you can um ways i learned to create content is for an example twitter list create lists for different hashtags related to your content when i worked on my I did my thesis on celibacy in the African American community. I created lists on Twitter 
to to find content I created me and Google Google alerts to find content on keywords to see if it is a trending topic so Google keywords is an option Twitter list is an option you can also search on Twitter by the keywords that you want for your brand and follow people that post unique content about those topics and you can share that content on your channels you engage the next one is engage with brands and followers um, this saying that you engage more you get more followers a lot of campaigns are based on likes I have seen campaign I see campaigns based on the number of likes you got on your blog and social media. I have seen campaigns where they want a lot of engagement. And I have seen campaigns that want both the numbers and the engagement. And you in some of the products it's like it could be the it could be a tube of mascara for an example. And this tube of mascara can want 50,000 followers. So it depends on the brand. You know, and like the other day, I got rejected for a campaign for a wooden puzzle because it said my engagement was low. So, I mean, it's increasing, but I was rejected because it was low. But you, so you need to comment on post, post discussion questions respond to comments and questions the next tip is to work with small businesses to develop partnerships you can do free promotions you can do paid promotions you can work with them to give out a special discount giveaway but make sure that the businesses you work with are still relevant to your content even during my masters we had to go, it wasn't just writing papers. We had to go out into the community and find real life stories. That definitely made college interesting because I was going all over Houston f interviewing people for, the, for content for my channel. I went to the Children's Museum in Houston to cover Spring Break Bash. I went to a STEM event for young girls. I went to Star Hope, a um, homeless shelter, to interview Scott Arthur about the work he's doing in the community. I covered my sister's book signing. I also write books. I do book reviews. So there are many. So find businesses and brands that relate to your niche. You also can find larger brands to connect with. It says as smaller brands start to notice you, you will, larger brands will also begin to notice and contact you as well. And companies also remember you from doing a small campaign in the past and come back years later for another campaign. I recently reviewed some headphones. Uh, I two sets of headphones for a company that I used to review for back in my early days of blogging. And, and, and you know, one, there's a lot of platforms out there for sponsor posts. Find the ones you like. I like Intelligent Influence. That's becoming one of my favorites. It actually is one of my favorites. So these are the tips based on an article on how to become a brand ambassador. I will post the link to the article in the description and also a link to some of our videos I've done from Full Sail University from going out into the community. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you and have a blessed day.